All right, guys. So we uh, did the burn in. I went a little further actually after that. I just kept going after I cut my notch in, and uh, we have brown dust, which isn't a good sign. But this is gonna be for all the marbles here. I'm gonna try to uh, force an ember out of this if I can. Now, before you get all crazy with this, waste all your energy. You wanna make sure all your preparations are right. So off to my side over here, I do have a bird's nest already ready to go to drop this ember in should I get one. And I have some of that small stuff and a fire lay. So if I get an ember, I'm already ready to go. So I took my handheld, put some green stuff in there, just like we talked about. Try to reduce the friction up top. I'll even spit in that a little bit. And then it's game on from there. I still see brown dust, so it's probably not good. And it's not. So, we're not gonna quit on it. We're gonna uh, maybe move to the other side here where I see some white wood, which will be dry, not so resiny. And I'll try that. Alright, guys, so we got a second little spot burned in right there. Uh, right there. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna save that dust because I've already done all that work, and even though it's brown, which isn't a good sign, it's still dust. So if I can get this one to go, it's less work I have to do to build that dust back up, and it's just gonna make my ember bigger when I do get it. I'm just gonna. Uh, trim up my spindle here just taking off the uh, top layer give it some friction just like that some more green stuff in our handheld a little bit more spit this stuff isn't working that great. Uh, a green leaf would be good, but none of those around.
All right, still not good, but if you can see the dust now, it's getting a lot darker. That's exactly what we want. <coughs> and I didn't waste too much out of that hole, like I said, because I saved some of that old dust. <coughs> oh, excuse me, geez, winded. Looks like I need to start doing some more PT. But uh, again, I'm gonna save that, especially where it's dark now. I'm gonna take a little breather. And that's gonna be for all the marbles, guys. Guys, right, so this is where, where we're at. I've done two attempts, actually two in each hole, so four attempts on that first hearth board. I burnt right through the second one here. Uh, but I improved. The first one, nothing but light brown dust. Uh, that's never gonna get it for you. The second one was brown at first. And then after manipulating my spindle and my handheld, I got some more uh, friction here, less on the handheld, and got some black dust, which was good. And then I just ran out of board. So uh, these are the types of things that happen, you know. This is uh, the reality of it. Uh, went through that first hole spindle. That's pretty much trashed out now. So I set that aside. I went to a second hearth board, which came from the same piece of wood as did all these pieces uh, when I first split that hearth board. So I've made a new spindle. I did a burn in and one attempt on this hearth board with the last spindle. So that's four five attempts and this one I was close as well and then my spindle crapped out so again this is the reality of primitive fire you know to come out here with a proven set that you keep in your pack or at home or whatever the case may be keeping it nice and dry and all that stuff uh, that's that's television that's not real world so again this is the reality of it and I want to show you guys that because I don't want to edit a video all up and make make it appear that I did this all first time go or whatever even though I've done that in a video uh, while I was deployed in Afghanistan I made a bow drill set right on camera just like this from start to finish and uh, got it to work fortunately the first time you know and, and sometimes that happens most times it doesn't and uh, we're seeing that here today but I'm definitely not giving up. I'm gonna get an ember one way or another. So I got a little marrying to do with this spindle here. Now I'm gonna have to cut a new hole. Uh, handheld's getting there, but you can see that light brown dust again. No good. You definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna get a new hole off to the side, clean up this. I'll have to marry it in yet again, and I'll go from there.
All right, guys. So you can see that light brown dust. I think you can see the smoke coming. So pretty much after six tries, I've basically forced that ember. And you can do it, you know. Perseverance is gonna pay off for you, don't quit on it. But ideally, you definitely want the black dust. So this is uh, one of them things that people don't mention, you know. Yeah, you gotta have a little skill to make the set. It's gonna take you some time. It's gonna take a lot of energy to make the set. It's gonna take you twice the energy to get the coal going. But the biggest thing and the thing that people leave out is there's definitely luck involved with this. And once you get that going, I got a pretty good dust pile there. So you got plenty of time. Don't rush this stuff, you know. Don't rush the failure. Let that thing collate, build up a little bit. <clears throat> and you can drop it into your bird's nest. And we'll show you that here in a couple seconds. Like I said, guys, plenty of time there. Letting it collate, it's building up. Uh, no breaks in the camera. You know, no camera tricks here. It's real life, not television. I think you can see that. Going quite nicely. So I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna drop that in my tinder bundle. Just like that. And then, same principles. Fold it over on itself just a little bit. Blow from the bottom upward. And you have flame. So now I can take that, fold it over on itself. Get you guys in the frame here with me. Stuff just falling all over the joint. Again, drop that down. I've got all my small stuff already prepared for my fire. Again, you don't have to get too fancy with this. As long as you give it oxygen, you'll be good to go. Give it a little help there. Give it a little help, that cedar bark gets tight in that nest. That's all, that's all that's happening there, so. Alright guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this one uh, from Forest to Ember. Showed you the uh, whole process of making a bow drill set right from scratch, you know. Nothing brought from home, nothing pre-dried, keeping it in the garage, drying out or in the basement, nothing like that. All done right here in the forest, right in front of you guys. And that's the way I like to do things, you know. Good way to practice a primitive skill is actually doing it. Like I said, if you Keep that stuff in your pack, 
keep it at home, keep it all nice and dry, come out here, knock out embers like they're free. Uh, you're just setting yourself up for failure uh, when you really need to redo it out in the field like this because uh, that's the reality of it again. You know, it's, it's good. I'm not saying it's not good to practice that stuff and you can make a proven set. You can keep it at home and all that good stuff and come back out here and get the technique down and all that stuff and that's fine. But if you're using it, you know, as your fire, in, in my opinion, keeping it at home ain't doing anything for you because if you are out in the woods for an extended period of time, that set's gonna collect moisture on you and it's not gonna work the same like you just brought it from home. So, something to think about. So, thanks for joining me guys. Again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, there'll be more to come uh, in this series, that's for sure. I'll uh, show you guys some different things when I can. So, uh, appreciate all your views, all your comments, your support, everything you do for me, my school, my store, uh, me and my family, all appreciate it. And uh, till the next one, take care, guys.